So I've just had a bit of a nap. I've still got a slight bit of fatigue, but I'm getting a bit hungry. So I'm just going to put something on, have a bit of a snack. Seven hours of darkness left, so at least I'll get another seven hours of sleep, which should be good. Damn it. can't believe I used that whole fire log. What a bagger. Oh shit, sorry. Let's uh, start this fire. And yeah, I'll... Um, I'll eat up some, I think, pork and beans or whatever it is I can find. We've got plenty of fish yet, so there's no need to go for another fishing trip. Although I will, eventually. That's That was actually a really... Failed! God damn it. Let me see if I've got something I can use to... To hurry it along. Not sure where I keep it, if I keep any. Oh, I've got some of that. I don't know how much he uses each time, though. Hopefully he won't use the whole damn thing. I didn't know how much I had, about 70, didn't I? Right, so I'll add a bit more. Oh, no, got plenty. Oh, I've used the friggin' fire log again, or whatever it was. Shit, I need a can opener. There it is. <laughs> I've got far too much stuff. Pork and beans. This should at least get me back to a reasonable standard. And then I'll go back to sleep, have a good sort of six hours sleep, and I should be fine again for the next day. I don't know how many videos this is likely to be, but... Let's eat that. 600 calories, that's a nice amount. I'll also boil some water, because I haven't got that much left. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't read, I read the wrong one then. 62 litres, or 0.62, should I say. Hang on. Let me just add that to it. And I'll melt another two litres. So I need to boil it now. But I'll add fuel first. Just one more. There we are. Yeah, as I was saying, two litres is about right for a full day. There we go. 2.62 litres. Excellent. So, what have we got left? Five hours of darkness. Let me... What have I got here? I might as well keep all this on me. Yeah, fuck it. I've got a bed. Just so I've got enough... Um, enough of a sleep. And then we'll crack on with the next day. Hopefully I'll be recovered by then. I should have put the fire on up here and done it all up here. Oh, well. I'll remember next time. Right, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, welcome back. I have just had a nap. Everything, still, I'll still need to, to sleep, but I think the plan is really to sleep for another four hours because I need to remain above freezing for four hours. That way I'll recover from hypothermia. So, I'll have another, well, I'll have something to drink, something to eat, and then I think, let's have that, that gives me some calories as well. Then it'll give me, you know, four hours worth of sleep and I'll, um, I should be back in top form, so I'll just go for five. That'll give me ten hours of daylight to go exploring. May have to have a little camp out tonight somewhere, depending on where I can find. If I can find a place that has, like, uh, what do you call it? A fire. There we are. No afflictions. Wonderful. So, let's crack on. I'll need some food. I'll need to eat some food. And then we'll we'll get going. I'll just uh, sort all this out off camera. So it might take a while. Right, so the fire's just dying out. I've just had some food. I've also cooked up... Wrong one. Some fish. Coffee, which I'll drink now. I've got just under two litres of water, but I should be alright for now. That should be enough. I've also brought the cattails, because I think I've got seven of them. They're not too heavy, and they give me 150 calories each. And some dog food for emergencies. So, fire-wise, I've just brought firewood, four little bits of tinder, uh, whatever you call it, and um, some reclaimed wood in case I can find a spot to go and light a fire. I think now is a good time to set out. I will take another bit of coffee, actually. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll head out and 
try and find that uh, little pathway again. I think it was down. Oh, my good lord. This is not good. Should I set out or should I wait for the weather to clear? I don't know. I think I only had about eight hours, nine hours of uh, daylight left. I'll stick to the edge. And I'm determined not to get friggin' hypothermia again. It's not that cold, though. It's only minus four, which is getting colder, but is actually quite reasonable. I will keep this up, though, just in case. Oh, it's actually a lot colder now. Yeah, I'm getting very chilly. <coughs> Hopefully when we go through this little passageway, though, there will be... Somewhere I can um, take shelter. It's all part of the adventure. I'll be fine. Provided I don't see any wolves. Or a bear. As I just say, never seen a bear now. I'm quite excited that I saw a bear. But if I stick to this edge, at least I know the way I need to go. Can't get lost. Fingers crossed. This is quite uh, horrendous weather, though. I'm thinking there may actually be two episodes in this, because I did look back over the recordings while I went to the toilet. And I had... Shit, that's a long way down. I had about 27 minutes worth of one of them, so that alone is just over what I like to record. But I want to play this, and I've not played it for so long. So I thought, screw it, I'm going to do a lot of recording. But this is the uh, passageway I was thinking of. Head down here, see what there is. <coughs> Hopefully it'll be a little warmer down here. I think we're all right. Everything so far seems to be going well. It's just food-wise, I could be doing a lot better, but I'm sure we'll find some. And if not, I live next to a lake. I can do a spot of fishing. I love this snow effect. It just feels like it's in your eyes. It's amazing. Uh, we're starting to clear again, I think. Maybe it's just because I'm hidden here. This is a nice spot. Yep. Yeah. Now I'm in a bit of a wind tunnel again. Where does this lead to? Have I been this way before? What was that noise? I swear I heard something running around me. I mean, it could have just been a deer, but... Fucking hell, I'm, I'm on edge. I'm literally on edge right now. I'm not doing too badly. At least my condition's back up to 100. And I've lost the hypothermia. That was a bit of a surprise. But yeah, uh, if you're watching this and this is the second episode, I expect I've had my birthday already. I, uh, I'm not too, I'm not a massive fan of birthdays. I, uh, I don't mind, you know, having a beer with a friend or going somewhere with my girlfriend, but I'm not one for parties for myself. It might just be the awkwardness of having to accept presents from people and and look like you're really happy for it, even though it could be something completely crap. I really find that awkward. <laughs> I'd rather just take all the things home and open them at home so they can't see my reaction. Getting a little impatient there. Still don't know what time of day it is, though. And I don't know how long you have to be freezing for before hypothermia sets in. My god, it's so hard to see. 
every time I see like a rock, I think it might be like a house or or a building. Birds. So I'm freezing now, so I really need to get a bit warmer. Just have a look over here. If I'll find a little nook and cranny and I can warm myself up a bit. Please be maple saplings. Fucking branch. It's a deer. It scared me then. I could probably take him out, to be honest. At least that way. I'll have some food. If I take him out, I can light a fire right next to him. And, um... Harvest it. Where has he gone? He's a sneaky little bastard, isn't he? Where the fucking hell has he gone? Damn this fog mist thing. I'm cooling. I'm not as cold, though. That's good. Hopefully hypothermia won't set in while it's a bit warmer. I'm going to see if I can track him. That does not look like footsteps. Footprints. I don't know where his footsteps are gone. I can't find them anywhere. I'll just assume he headed off this way. <clears throat> I think we've joined back up with that frozen stream that I was following beforehand. So I'll stick alongside this. Oh dear, we're at the dam. Now this is actually something I can use because okay, is that the deer running away? I think I can hear it. If I can take out Fluffy then technically the dam is mine. That's a wolf. We'll try and avoid him. I don't want to use the ammo if I don't need to. I haven't got He hasn't seen me. We're all right. But yeah, if I can if I can clear this dam out, then I've got a hell of a lot of supplies and stuff that I can use. What's this over here? Is this just a dead deer? So, let's just have a look at getting the meat. 31 minutes. 16 minutes. Excellent. I'll do that now because it's not freezing, so I'm not going to suffer hypothermia while it's above freezing. I'll leave the hide in the guts for now. I don't. And now I don't need to shoot the deer either. But I do need to take out this wolf. Six degrees. It's lovely out here. Right. There's, uh, that was probably from, from before. Moment of the truth. Fucking hell. Scare me after death. Not be behind me. Come on, you little bastard. I think I got him. I was not hanging around. Oh my god, I've taken out Fluffy! Oh! This day just got epic. Wow, he has a lot of meat on him. 49, I think I can do that. Holy crap, I took Fluffy out! I need to celebrate. I'm more happy about taking Fluffy out than I am about my own birthday. How long will that take? 10 minutes, I'll take the wolf hide. 
Not, don't think I need the guts. I've got loads of guts that I don't have any use for at the moment. In your face, Fluffy. Right. This is good news. Let's, uh... I don't need that yet. Oh, crap. I haven't brought my, um... Crowbar, have I? Put it away, man. Empty, locked, empty. I think I have checked here, but I must not have had... Had the crowbar. I will need this out, won't I? Oh, my lord. All I needed... What's a rifle? I think I have explored this place. But I can't have done it th too thoroughly if, if Fluffy was was wandering around at the time. Wow, that's nice. I'll take that. I don't know if it's better than what I got. I don't think it is. But yeah, I remember checking all these. And then I thought, I think what happened... I heard Fluffy coming, didn't I? And then pretty much legged it like a coward. What's this? Scrap mail. I'll leave that for now. Empty. Yeah, I've checked all these areas. Oh, I haven't checked this, though. I think I must have heard him coming when I was checking this and just got out of town. <coughs> Nothing more in there. Now, this safe. How on earth? No idea. I will have to look into that. Hopefully I transitioned really smoothly there so you didn't see my girlfriend's interruption asking me if she can eat the lasagna. So rude. Right, let's check out the rest of it. And now I can't I can only imagine I haven't ooh, I haven't explored the rest of this because of the damn wolf. I also accidentally just poured water down my face while I was trying to talk to Rachel. For some reason, I started to... Well, she asked me a question as I was pouring the water. And then, as I was talking, I kind of opened my mouth and it fell down my chin. Got a soggy beard now. Never a good feeling. So, we have this barrel here. Everything's going very swimmingly at the moment. Got plenty of meat to cook up. And to be honest, I've probably got enough time to... Four hours, that should be enough time to get back. Ooh, more fuel, excellent. Oh, actually, no, no, me. what am I thinking? There's a whole new area to the dam, isn't there? I think what I'll do, actually, I'll set up some sort of semi-camp here and explore the rest of the dam. Man, I'm, in, I'm loving this, this playthrough at the moment. Right, let's uh, just extinguish this. I don't think I need this on at the moment. I'm going to go and get myself a coffee because I'm going to keep recording this. I'm having such a good time at the moment, so... Fat. How am I doing? Everything's pretty much good. Food-wise, I've got that to eat, haven't I? That'll give me... Fuck! <laughs> 1,600 calories. Jesus Christ. I don't... I'm going to save that for now, I think, because that'll, that'll be such a waste. Got a lot of wolf meat. Let me have a can of that. At least that way it'll drop both. And I'll go and put the kettle on. And come back and play the rest of this. Because I am having such a great time. Right, bear with me. Okay, so I've now just got myself a coffee. And I'm ready to get back on with it. Let's head down here. It's probably going to be very dark, and I hope there isn't like a fluffy number two. It is really dark. I'll take all this stuff, because I don't generally think I'm likely to come this way again. Wasn't there a broken arrow, or have I picked that up again? What's that? Is that a piece of cloth? Interesting. Right, I'll need the lantern on again. I hope I don't run out of... Ooh, fuel's getting low. I can probably refill it. I picked up some more. Petra, I don't know if it's the same stuff, though. Gonna have a good day loot in here. I'm the most... Oh my god, I've got no space whatsoever. I need to... Actually, what I'll do is I'll... I'll probably stuff a lot of stuff in this guy's corpse, and then when I come back... 
I can pick it all up again. What have I got? That's why I'm in... What the hell? <laughs> that looks kind of weird. I might put that as a carpet. I'll put that down. That's quite a heavy piece. All that's quite heavy. Uh, what else have we got? One, 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 one and a half. I'll keep that just in case. I'll need that. Uh, rifle I'll keep hold of just in case. You never know. I can put all this wolf meat in there though. And the raw venison, which is very low condition, so I'll need to cook that up soon. The rest, I think I'll need to keep with me. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to. But at least that's freed up a bit of room. I'm not over-encumbered anymore. Or encumbered. Encumbered. What was that? I hope these are just... It takes 18 minutes to... Knock down a cardboard box. They're all empty. I wonder if have I been this way. That's outside. We'll, we'll, we will check out there. Later on. There's some freaky noises. Like that. I hate those noises. Because I know this just leads all the way back round, doesn't it, I believe. Cool if you can get it back on again. Oh no, I don't want to extinguish. I thought I was turning the uh, the cogs then. I expect this lantern will cut out in a sec. In fact, I do remember being down here because this is where I got my torch, and I was wafting it around for a little while, wasn't I? What we got here? Empty sewing kit. Hope nobody needs this anymore. It doesn't weigh much. I might as well take it. It's empty. I mean, I've got three kits, although one of them is very low. Why is there a torch there? Doesn't make any sense. It is very spooky in this place, though. I love it. Turn that off. Shit, I need it back on again now. Oh, 15, 50, 15 litres. I will refuel it in a sec. Locked. I should have. I wish I'd brought my crowbar. I had no idea this was leading to the actual dam. Ah, might as well. Don't mind if I do. Can't go out there, can I? No. I hadn't noticed that sink there before. Nothing in there. Don't think I can use that. I'm assuming there's no electricity. I think that's actually part of the story, isn't it? Is that there's been a some sort of electro thing disaster. And all the power's gone. Ooh, accelerant. I can always use accelerant. Bullet! Excellent. Nothing more in here. I think those filing cabinets are broken. So, that's the dead end there. Let's head back. I think that's the way in, isn't it? But I can't get out that way. We'll head out to the outside and uh, see what takes us that way. There she is. Right, let's go through here. Oh my god, what time is it? Three hours of daylight. I think we're definitely camping out here somewhere. Well, not out here. Do I see a wolf down there? Very eerily quiet, but I think it's quite representative of when when the when the snow is falling. I'll take that because it annoys me that it's floating in the air. Wow, this is so eerie. 
I'm not going to go venturing on down there. I'm just going to look over the edge. A little bird sound then. God, I just, I love this game. It is definitely in my top five. In fact, I don't even know what my top five are, but I know it'll be in there somewhere. I'm not going to bother picking up scrap metal. I've got plenty of it and <coughs> nothing to use it on at the moment. Why is it making that noise? It's like the Daisy sounds that when you walk in the ambient noises just freak me out. Right. What the hell? It's a one way door. I'll have to go around this way again. Damn it. Didn't know that. Good job I'm not doing this in the dark. Oop. Oh, Jesus. I don't like this. It's making me very nervous. And don't look down, as they always say. We'll have to climb through a window here and go back on ourselves, I think. Good job I know about this window. I'm sure I've said it before, but it reminds me of Dino Crisis, just this area. When you first arrive to try and figure out what's happened. And I think you get attacked by a Velociraptor, don't you? That was a great game. I wish they'd recreate that properly. Although I think I've heard somewhere that I think they are. So, fingers crossed. That'll be a great one to have a playthrough on. Right, let's go through this window and get our little camp sorted. There it is. Ah, there we are back inside. We're over here again with the weird old sink. I will need this in a sec. Oh, no, I don't think I do need it. I can find my way back. Did I check this drawer? I did. Excellent. <coughs> All right, I'm going to head back and set up camp just sort of where that barrel is. I've got my uh, sleeping bag, so everything should be fine. Now I do need the torch. Okay, so I've just laid out my uh, my bed and the lantern. The pelt, I figured I might as well leave it out while I'm here. <clears throat> Keep that curing. Now, what I think I'll do is I'll... I've, well, I've just cooked up the... What have we got? I'm hungry now, so I'll eat some of this. This was at about 36%, so I figured it would be just a good idea to cook it up, get it eaten, because it gives me a lot of calories, and that will be... Keeping me going for a good long time. Have a bit of water. I will likely get more water. Before we set off. The fire. Has got a long long time to go. I'll add that and I'll go and. Chop up some more. Although I am. Over encumbered still. Let me see if I can just put something down over here. What is it that weighs the most? Um, I'll drop that. That'll give me some... Not, <laughs> not too close to the fire, hopefully. But that'll give me a bit more... A um, bit more room. And yeah, I'll just chop up a couple of... Stacks or shelves or whatever we've got here. Crates, I think there are, aren't there? Just so I've got a bit of wood for the fire, because I'm running a bit low on it now. But yeah, I mean, we've got less than one hour of daylight left. So, to be honest, a good long sleep will keep me going. Plenty of time there. Also, I think while we've got the fire on, I'll cook up some more meat. 800 calories. Wow. And that one, not so much. I'm still... It's got 99% on that one, so I don't need to cook that up yet. But I will... I will cook up some of this raw meat. 
Let's cook that one up first. Then I've got something for the journey. But I'll just cook one of these up because I have got that big piece. Let me melt a litre. Probably haven't got enough time there, but we'll see. Oh, just enough. I'll add that to it and then boil it. And then I think we'll call it a day. I'll have, a, I'll have some sleep and then the next time we come back we'll make our way back with all our supplies. Hopefully I'll be strong enough. As at the moment I... I'm not quite awake enough. But yeah. How long have we got left? 26 minutes. Join me again. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And like it obviously. And also head over to the Star Citizen Community Hub if you are following us for Star Citizen. Just don't forget to upvote our, our videos. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Good night.